Hey guys, welcome back to Sage Chango Organics. <laughs> You're going to find out soon why I'm calling my garden the Sage Chango Organics. So guys, I've just came back home. It's been almost a month since I was away from home and away from the garden. And you are going to see how the garden looks uh, with a month of not being cared for, just growing on its own, not being watered by watered by the rains, which was scarce. So without wasting much time, let's get straight ahead to today's video. Okay, so I've just turned the camera. Let me zoom, zoom out so that I can try and show you the garden in one picture. So this is it, guys. Don't mind the clothes on the washing line. But I think this gives you the picture of how the garden is looking like with a month of not being cared for. It's a jungle, guys. So now let's get in. This whole section at the top of the garden here is taken over with weeds, guys. This tall grass that you see here, actually this is not a tall grass, this is some bamboo and this is the tall grass that I'm talking about. Titonia, Titonia rotundifolia, taking over this whole section of the garden. I remember before I left I had planted some some popcorn here but as you can see there is no sign of any popcorn those days when I left it was so hot and with no one to water the garden even the the municipal water we had gone for days without getting water coming out from our tips so there was no one to water and there was there wasn't even the water to use to water the garden so I didn't expect to find the popcorn here but uh, you can see that with the little rains that we received the Titonia rotundifolia managed to dominate, managed to, to take over this whole section here and um, in the undercarriage here you can see that the black jack is also trying to take over this whole section but I'm actually happy that these are growing. The Titonia rotundifolia is good uh, grain fertilizer, which I'm going to use to feed the soil in the garden. And they are shedding the the couple of sword beans that decided to compete with these weeds that are growing here. I can see one over there, another one over there. The lemon grass is doing well. This uh, moringa shoot that's growing here. When I left, this was dried up. You can see this is the stump here. So it sent out another shoot which is now thriving. This is uh, comfrey down here which is thriving as well. And here is more of the titonia rotundifolia growing. My male papaya trees. You can see that they are doing well so even if these are male I'm not going to cut them my Hawaiian sugarcane it survived the heat and uh, among the Hawaiian sugarcane you can see that sword bean that's growing over there sweet potato vines they also survived the heat before the, the last week and the beginning of last week that's when it rained here so I ate so the rains they came a bit late as you can see that even my comfrey page this uh, I'm used to seeing my comfrey page always full but as you can see these are just some leaves that are starting to come up and they are even competing with the grasshoppers as you can see there are holes all over the comfrey leaves when i left i hit some sunflowers that were growing here as well but as you can see they've dried off the one that had already bloomed they they dried off as well here is another moringa tree i left this i think it was it about one meter 
in size but as you can see now this has grown tall and it has got some fresh leaves that are growing on it this one as well it has grown tall here i've got some avocado seedlings that are growing and i have to come and transplant these into some plant leaves so that we can take these and go plant them at the new homestead that we are building so the orchard is already coming up guys as you can see i've got these avocado seedlings they are going to be planted in the orchard over here this is a two year old avocado tree that's growing here and just look how big it is it's already this big I think in about uh, two more years time it's going to start fruiting here is my banana tree growing in this container here and as you can see it's sending out some pups this one this was not here when I left this was here but it was drying off here is another one down here there was another one here but I can't find it anymore I believe it couldn't take the heat so it dried off and this and uh, this is the the banana tree here you can see that it is just sent out this new beautiful light green leaf my chili plant it's unfortunate that all these chilies need to dry on the plant there was no one here to harvest this so they dried on the plant and i don't think they are good anymore i don't think we can consume this these papers anymore but we've got some new flowers that are coming out and they are all over the plant so we are in luck guys oh we still have a couple that are still fresh here's another one here's another one i think if i really look i will find many more actually these are new these are not uh, the same age as these that i've tried off these are new they are coming from these new flowers that are being sent out by the plants here are some more sword beans and this is the sword bean guys some of you might not know how the sword bean look like so this is it the bean pod is long, hence the name sword bean. Over there is another one. Mm. This has just got one, and this is one as well. In that small container there, that's mint. Another sword bean plant. That one has no pod yet. And here is my fig cutting that's growing so well now it has got two shoots that are growing one year one year oh there's another one down here so three shoots that are growing these are uh, would have died because of the drought but it was clever and it chose to send out its roots down onto the ground as you can see it's growing in this plant's leaf so it sent out its roots in the ground that's how it managed to survive the heat otherwise this would have died this is my society garlic it thrived in the scorching heat as you can see all this this whole page is alive it's the bishop's crown paper that i transplanted i posted a video when i was transplanting this it was growing in this container here but the container was becoming too small to support this uh, big plant that you see let me zoom out this is quite a big plant 
it was full of papers but because of the drought in growing this small container it lost uh, most of the papers but as you can see we've got some that have ripened on the plant and we are going to enjoy these I showed you as well when I was planting this ginger root this uh, ginger rhizome I mean and now it has sent out some ginger shoots so I'm happy to see that uh, this is thriving as well here we've got another society garlic that uh, thrived during the heat wave another corn flea this is some more society garlic another corn flea plant and another bishop's crown pepper and it has got some fruits on it and here's one that's uh that's big and some flowers as well here's another one that is ripened this one is paid i should remove this from the plant and it's probably going to seed uh, some more seedlings down there and down here I've got some zinnia seedlings I think they were seeded by this uh, dried up zinnia flower here so let me seed some more okay what do we have here these are some bell pepper plants that are flowering Here's another one, another one here, another one here. I've got uh, quite a number of them in this bed. There's another one, it's flowering as well. Here's another one. And uh, the Tonia rotundifolia growing in this bed again. If this plant is left uh, to do its own thing, it's going to cover this whole garden so i'm going to come and cut these and use them as green manure okay what else do we have here we've got another paper plant another bill paper plant another bill paper plant that's flowering again there's another one down there this uh sunflower when i left it was blooming but now it's all dried out the same as this one that one as well and that one as well this one is it's not bloomed yet when I left but uh, it's now dried out over here we've got some more sword beans is another sword bean here this one is flowering a new sword bean that is just came out of the flower another one here there is another sword bean pod just look how long this is and very soon this is going to send out some more flowers as you can see these are the flower buds here some more lemon grass lemon grass and here is another chili pepper plant this is some corn that i planted before i left i'm surprised to see that they are still this small but i'm happy that they are still alive here is another lemon grass some more of the corn that i planted before i left that's a compost pile over there okay so now i'm going to take you where there is really a jungle in my garden look guys in that bucket i've got this moringa tree that's growing and it has got some pods on it and uh here's another one as well in that same bucket i've got this papaya that's growing look how big it is 
sharing the same container with the moringa tree let me get to the other side so i can clearly show you these plants over here i've got some mango seedlings that i planted before i left my alobabadensis miller here is a big one this is the mother plant it's the mother to this one this one this one this one this one as well and uh, that one that's growing in that container there here is my nursery area as you can see these are the signs of the heat wave that passed and these are signs of the rain that came after showing some new life some more papaya seedlings sharing the same container with that uh, aloe vera pup more berry cuttings another big papaya over there some sweet sorghum beautiful zinnias another huge bishop's crown pepper plant and it's flowering this is huge guys just look uh, just look at the area that this one plant is covering if i i put the camera on normal you can see that it cannot even capture the whole plant i have to zoom out so that you can see the whole plant this is huge I think it's about 1.5 meters wide from this this tip here to this tip over here look at the distance the tonia rotund folia is it has taken over this whole section here look guys it's covering this whole section this can take the whole garden if it's left on its own my grape cutting that was growing in this plant leaf it's dried off my lemon cutting dried off as well black jack taking over down here another prolific chili plant guys and it's huge as well it's sending out some flowers and it has got some ripe peppers I'm not sure if you can see those and uh, all those flowers on this plant let me show you this uh, this moringa here grown from cutting look how big it is it was not even this big when I left I think it was half this size Some more zinnias here is that papaya i showed you when i was at that site another banana tree here growing in a five gallon bucket here is another moringa tree growing in a bucket here it is and uh, this is some corn Here is some corn, guys. Titonia rotunda folia taking over this whole section of the garden. This is where I had some strawberries, but because of the heat wave, they all dried off. They all died. Was this? I had thought that was a strawberry plant, but no. Here are some more bell pepper plants. That survived the heat wave. There is another one and another one over there. My Hawaiian sugar, sugar cane. It survived. As you can see, it still has some green leaves. 
Look at this jungle, guys. There's a lot of work that needs to to be done in this garden if I'm to ever take back the garden. This garden is full of sunflowers. It's sunflowers all over and the next one as well. I planted these is some ground cover during the heat wave. I ate some some bill pepper plants down here. There is still one. Let me see if I can find another one. Oh, they all dried uh, dried up. There is another one, but it's looking sorry. And another one over there. Down here I've got some lettuce seedlings that were seeded by this dried out plant, I believe. This is the stem of a lettuce tree. I'm sure it's the one that seeded out all these lettuce seedlings that you see here. How oh, I wish I could save this, but it's not time to plant lettuce yet with the heat that we are getting it's all going to die so unfortunately i cannot save all these beautiful strong seedlings what shows you that these are some strong seedlings is the fact that they are growing in a garden path this is a garden path but look how strong they are Okay guys, so that's my jungle of a garden. This is how my garden is looking like uh, with a month of being unkempt. This is the jungle that I've got to deal with now and I've just got today's year to deal with all these uh, weeds that are in my garden and to make sure that the garden is looking presentable and probably plant some more corn. So I've got my way cut out for me guys, uh, but this is not going to stop me. I've got to do what I've got to do. I've got to clear the weeds in the garden and uh, leave the garden looking presentable. So thank you for watching guys and please don't forget to leave a like and to share this video with your friends and family and make sure that if you are not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe. So I will see you in the next video.